Hello and welcome to Rick's Kits. Um, in this stream we are going to continue with the AFE Club SDKFZ 25120 ALFS D. Um, on the last stream I left it at uh, part 4. Uh, but I have since progressed it a little bit on from that. Um, if you remember in the last stream, the carpet monster claimed claimed this piece, which was on the front of the wheel. Uh, I didn't find it, couldn't find it, so I've had to make a substitute out of a piece of sprue. Uh, the wheels are on there just to protect the sus front suspension and the steering arm because this morning when I was um, doing some work on it I managed to snap the steering arm up in that end there. Um, also you can see that I've actually added all the uh, suspension for the wheels and the the stops let's not get my big old chunky fingers in there um i'm going to focus again uh we've had i've added the stops as well and these have got little rubber pads which is quite nice <laughs> quite nice for the uh for the kit damn i've just broke a piece off again which is what happened this morning when I was playing, I was going to mention it, I might as well show it. This tiny little piece, which you're not going to be able to see, unless I can get it into focus. Basically that's the, uh, that's a hand lever, there you go. Um, and that has broken off. There's some very, very delicate parts on there, on this kit, so I need to try and get that back on. I'm going to put a small amount of glue on there, and hopefully get this on with it out, it falling. Losing it. So yeah, I love the live streams. Everything's back to front. But basically, I've put in the uh, gear shift, the handbrake lever, the foot pedals. Not that we're seeing this on camera. There we go. That's probably better view. So again, foot pedals are in. Uh, handbrake, gear shift, and the piece that's just broken off. It, there is delicate parts on it, I will admit that. But, uh, yeah, so we're currently gone from 4 to uh, part 8. And part 8 is starting to deal with the with the dash so oh, gone out of focus sorry about that try too much can't get the shadow out of the way uh, so basically we've got the steering column gone on here we've got the gas mask canister We've also got the accelerator I've put in there and a piece of uh, tubing as well as the face of the dash itself. So that needs the steering wheel, which I have there. Well, that needs to be painted up. So I'm not going to put that on. I will be putting this in in a little while 
but I need to paint. Basically, I need to paint most of this interior. So I need to get a few more bits attached before we can uh, put some paint in there. Where I'm at a stage where I'm happy enough for um, to be able to paint it up properly. Um, I have found a few niggling bits and pieces with this kit as I've gone along uh, where the pushpin marks were for getting the sprues out of the mould. For some unknown reason, let's just tighten the lid up on the glue so I don't throw it everywhere. I don't know if we can see on the bottom of here. We've, not quite. Too dark. Not dark enough to. But there's a big old pushpin mark down here. And with these, they leave big old lugs on the bottom, which you have to get rid of. Otherwise, it's not going to sit in there very well. So I'm finding this over loads of bits and pieces. Uh, it's not coming off just one spring. Then we might have to show you an indication. There's one. I've got out of camera focus. There you go. There's one there. Nasty big old push pin lug. So we have to get that off and sand them down. I'm finding them quite a bit over this kit and they're all where you don't really want them to be sticking out as you're trying to attach things but hey -o, that's that comes with the territory when you build kits you have these things to overcome and yeah, we'll get there. We'll get rid of it all at some point. It is a nice kit. I'm enjoying building it, even though it's lots of... Lots and lots of parts. Uh, also, one other small thing about this kit is, even though it looks like there's no flash, I seem to be picking out flash from certain parts as well. So... I don't know what the age of this kit is, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, 2004. So, yeah, it's probably the reason why it's got a fair bit of flash still attached to it in places. Because it's a 16-year-old kit. There are a few small fit issues as well. Um, in particular, this one springs to mind, which is the steering column. And um, there's a square lug or a rectangular lug, which slots into place here. And you do have to shave off probably about a quarter of a millimetre, half a millimetre to get it sitting properly. Um, I've had to re-drill holes in the chassis because they weren't um, wide enough to take the part. Uh, a lot of test fitting. As you go. The wheels are not stuck on. They're just put on there, like I said, to protect that piece on the bottom so I'm going to leave them on for now um, my thoughts on the wheels are I don't really like them they don't go together very well you can see this one's at an angle um, probably should have bought a resin set um, it might make it a bit better
But yeah, we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Let's see how far we can get today. And uh, let's crack on. So we're at part eight, and I'm currently going to be placing in seats. Uh, the wheels I'm not going to put on, even though they directed me to put them on in six, because they all need spraying up and all the rubber painted. So we're putting seats in loads of little fiddly bits. Uh, breaking what we've just done. And we've got radio bits, electrical bits going in. Um... We've got a machine pistol, an MP40. We'll get that in at some point. But again, that that's going to need painting. I'll probably just go straight over with a with an acrylic coat and not bother putting any base down on that because once that's on, you're not going to you're not going to get to it to rub any stuff off, any paint off stuff. It's paint. Come on, Rick, it's paint. Um, machine pistol uh, case. Yeah, lots of little fiddly bits, but we're getting on. We'll get there. These things are sent to try us, and try us they will. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Um, I'm not going to put the machine pistol in yet. I'm not going to put that in yet. I do need to put in. Right, I need to make sure we get this around the right way first before we start sploshing stuff about. So, Another little fiddly bit. I have tested this earlier, so I know I know it goes in there. I've changed the angle of the camera, so it might be a lot better in focus this time than what it normally is. Generally, when I try and show anything, it all goes out of focus and everything, but looks like we're managing today. All right, so let me just turn this around and we are placing part U10, N6, N13. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at this a moment. Right. So, this is N13, which is an electrical box. It's going to sit there. Well, yeah, it would sit there. Need to get some glue on it. Just give that a shot for a minute. So that's going there. And next to that, another piece of electrics. Jeez, is it there or is it there? Ooh. Okay, let's let that dry up a sec. Let me double check. The destructions. You have to excuse all this mess in the background. Always got loads of mess everywhere. That's how I work. 
chaos. Um, I can't see that piece. So I'm assuming it's not going to be in a way. But it doesn't give you a very direct position for it. So that's the neighbour's dog upstairs dropping crap all over the floor. Can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Bloody annoying, but there you go. Okay, so I would probably say that that piece, try and keep it in focus. It's going to go about there. The other MP14 will sit here, or one of the MP40s will sit here, and then we got the same on the other side. In fact, it probably sits so it probably sits that way around. I would have thought so, but that's another day, or maybe later, I'll get it painted up. Right, so next down is a seat. So I need to construct this first. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit fiddly. Now this particular vehicle <laughs> was used by the Wehrmacht to aid the Mark V Panther tank during night operations. Sitting on the back of the, or in the back of the half track, was a big infrared unit. which uh, was converted over from a... Hang on, I'm just concentrating on a set. It's converted over from a searchlight. And that unit was set up as a... I'm trying to think, no, the tank would have had a receiver and an optical lens on it as well. So this is the Panther G. And they have an infrared optical sight, one up 
on the turret at the commander's cupola. There was one there, and that was the, I think, the receiver. And then the other part, which was further down on the tank, was for the gunner. And that allowed him to shoot Allied tanks, or Russian tanks, in the dark. As this is a captured vehicle, captured by the Americans, that's what I'm aiming to do. So this would have, this would have seen action in the European theatre of operations. I need to let that dry a bit. And uh, from what I can gather, was very useful. Let's put in the seat. Now I'm going to go for the slightly thicker. Oh, I would. I can't get the bloody top off. There we go. The contactor. I'll we'll put some of that down in the holes because it gives me enough time to do what I've got to do. And then I can throw some Tamir extra around it. These are tight. I'm trying my best not to knock anything off. Here we go. That's one down. Let me get glue all over my hand. Doesn't help. There's a second one. Right, so with that on, we'll put some extra thin round just to hold them in place. So I don't mind putting the seats in because they can be painted. They can be painted in position. That's not a, it's not a problem. Oh, there's the old compressor firing up the air. Hang on. Let's get... Oh, God, where's the button? There we go. It has a slight air leak, so has a tendency to throw throw itself on every now and again. Right, again, I'm going to have to look into the instructions a bit because I'm not 100% sure what is going to go behind those seats and where I should be putting the next seat that goes in the back. Um... We have a seat on that side. Right, so I can't really tell. It's not very clear in the instructions, but there are two, maybe you can see them, there are two holes directly behind, directly behind that seat, on either side. But the instructions doesn't really show Anything going in that point. So I have to have a look further down the line. But I can't see anything for, for there. So I'm going to make the assumption that it's not anything I need to worry about. All right. So we're going to have to start painting shortly then. Because <clears throat> we've got... Got to close this up in a bit. Even though we're adding a extra bits to it. So let's see if we can skip around this. 
but do it in a way where it's not going to interfere with what's going on. Hmm. Right, I might have to wait for that. See how that one goes. Got a couple of cabinets going in on the side of the unit. But you've also got these infrared turntable, which looks like it might be in the way. Right, says Fred. Let's see where we go. If you want to ask any questions, by all means put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer as honestly as I can from what knowledge I do know. What knowledge I have, should I say, not what knowledge I do know. Right, so the destructions are showing it going here. But there's no lugs for it to go on. Hopefully that's in the right place. Let's put a cap on that before that dries and I have to get the lighter out to burn it clear. So, yeah, so talking about detail, let's, I'll try and get this in a little bit closer. If I can. It's got a nice checker plate in there. Let's get that set. It looks really good. Done that well. Okay. Um, excuse me while I make adjustments here. I need to get my cameras in and do my best to try and make sure we get a clear shot. Let's see how that goes for now. Should be all right though. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I am roughly where I want to be for now on this side. So I need to let's turn to nine before I come back to do any painting and stuff. See what we've got in nine. Okay, nine we are no, well that's good because I'll put that to one side and let that dry properly for the moment. So nine we're dealing with the top. Now we've got a slight warp here on the back. Not very good. Dips there. And then we've got one of these horrible lugs. I think that should come out because I can't see anything again on the instructions which says it should be there. That looks like a pain in the backside bush bin. Actually, I could have used that for the wheel. So, well, that's relieved the tension there anyway. And go straighten that up slightly without any hot water. Yay! Right, and this has got a texture on the outside as well. Again, they're not going to pick it up on the camera, but it's definitely, definitely there. Got a nice rough texture. I've had to pre drill some holes, it showed it in the instructions. Number nine, see there, um, where other in parts of the instructions have showed where to drill. These didn't have any partial, partial holes, so I've had to measure those to get them in the right place. And 
said it was a pain. Because on my little trusty drill, I broke the spring. So it's not, not very springy anymore. Because that should fire that back up there. But yeah, it's in three pieces on there. So I have to do it by rotating it myself and drilling out the bits. It does take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience to deal with. Right, let's have a look at what we got here. So I need off of this some interior optics. What we're looking for D twenty eights and T A zero nine. Where's U fourteen going then? Probably there. Some of these little connection points are really tiny. Very tiny. So it looks like I might need two U fourteens, maybe. Uh, not U fourteen, TA O nines. Right, let's find D twenty eight. Um, the D sprue, D sprue. I've got sprues everywhere. So what's this? The D sprue. I'm looking for two small pieces. Twenty eight. There we go. It will go out of focus while I cut these off. Can't do much about it. I got some horrible little bits on these sprues. Um, T T zero nine. This is the teaspoon. Sounds, sounds like I said teaspoon. Then this is the tea sprue. There's the zero nine. There's another one of those. I need to cut these pieces off. I'm always a bit dubious about going live because my neighbours ain't the best. Took the one upstairs. And the last thing I want to do is subject to nice people to unnecessary noise. Now I've had to put up with it for about 10 years, but no reason for you people to have to put up with it. They know what I do. They know I stream, but yeah, I think they... And I make videos, but I think they do delivery sometimes.
nature of the human race. There's always someone out there to irritate somebody. Deliberately. Right, that's enough for them anyway. I don't want to talk about them. But if all warned. There we go. Doesn't sit in place. And that's because it's upside down. Now it does. Pays to look at the instructions, Richard. Right, so we get one that side, we get one this side. Those two pieces are on. Vision slots. Let's clean these two pieces up. It's not wide enough, so I need to trim a little piece of that off. <coughs> Try not to cut my fingers off while I'm there. Means it's going to probably be the same on the other side. Let's double check. Yeah, 
I'm going to take a little piece off of this side as well. Let's not do that in camera shot. Come on. So yeah, we're still having to trim up stuff. Okay, so that's vision slops. I'm not sure what that piece is. Because it doesn't appear to be anything in the side of the armour. Because the vision slot is here. So this is here. How strange. Hmm. Right, so that's on. Um, next to go in here, as I bash the gubbins out of the bottom half of this unit, we need a radio. So I need you, you 14 and you 13. Um, you, 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 I think is on this sprue. Yep, there we are. Okay, which way up the radio go? It's that that way. Yep. Dog banging around again. So which way does that go? That way. Crikey, it's not the sound of even putting their mothers out today. You think there was a pandemic? Mm. 
See that on the time of your kit. They're half tracks. Well, you still haven't. <coughs> but then they don't make this kit. Or this version of this kit. Right. L14. L14. Draw and locate L. Masses of spruce. That's in. That's I. T's. I'm going to use this one. And all fourteen. Oh yeah, it's a big old gate. Cool. I'm surprised I haven't ripped half the plastic off. Right, let's attack this with. Sand in. Get a bit of grip on it. It's that bloody big, it's not coming off. Right, knife. It's flat. It's gone. Not too much on this side, which is good. Scratches. If you don't recognise these sanding sticks, they are Flory model sanding sticks. I've had these a few years. They work pretty well for what I want. There's loads of other brands on the market, but I like these. This is a lady's nail file. So gents, if you want a good file, because it does work, works wonders for getting rid of scratches. Go and raid the missus or girlfriend's nail files. 
and have a, a slight sandy side, which is probably about 2400 grit or something on this side, and then a rubber side, and that's for, good for buffing up. Because I don't have an air indoors, I have to go and buy my own. But yeah, well worth the money. Okay, now we work it out. Um, this one goes. But look at all the tiny little dials. And that is that way up. That's good. Alright, so where's that going on here? Anything. Quite the instructions are not very clear. Who's here? I don't think can go much more wrong than that. be for the um, infrared so three radio sets on that side or three electrical units this side anyway it's starting to take shape <coughs> Now the only small problem I've got with this is I need to make sure that we're not Right, so I really do need to paint that. This has got an armoured top, hasn't it? I'm sure it's got an armoured top. I think that's it there. See how far that goes back. In reality, I haven't got to paint all that. Which is good news for me. Hmm. So if I do stick, I might as well put that in. Might as well put the steering in. 
because it's not going to be seen. So you've got all this beautiful work in here and you're not going to see any of it. Oh, me. Come on, guys. Well, I suppose this is for their, their normal version of D, isn't it? It'll be the single version of D. They must do a separate D. I know they do a C. So, yeah, it's like we're actually getting away with some of this. As my motto is, if you can't see it, why paint it? I know some people like to have doors and things open, but bugger it. I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to paint it. There's no need. Oh, steady. I'm not breaking that again. I'll be slightly peeved. Okay. Just need to hold this in position for a bit just to make sure that it's uh, getting a bond. We'll show the steering wheel one. It's mad. Not even going to see it. I still spray in there though. I'm going to spray it German grey. Would it be German grey or would it be dark yellow? Hmm. That's an interesting point. Or would it be red oxide? Hmm. Sounds like someone's come back with the old shopping. I'm expecting my doorbell to go off at some point. Because I do have a parcel coming today from Amazon. Yet another model kit. Uh, it's one I've been after for a long time. And I finally managed to pick it up for a £25. And it is the British Quad Gun and £25. With the ammunition limber as well. So I'll look forward to building that one. Oh, oh, excuse me. Cough. It's all the smell of blue. Irritates the old nostrils. <laughs> Check that on. I always find that weird. The way the steering wheel set up on these half track German half tracks. I 
steering from up underneath like so crazy that must really hurt your arms after a while can't see the reason for it though because there's space to have it the other way unusual absolutely unusual so this is obviously the, the operators or an operator seat Excuse me. And you can't see me cutting some of this off, but some of the gates on here are damn close to the part. Doesn't make good for cutting off. Like I've already said, I've already broke two pieces. Had to re glue them. Barely any seam lines, which is good. There's no disjointed parts. But it's not good. Oh, it has to go. Come on, good sake. All right, let's do this off camera for a sec. Try and do it properly, tweezers doesn't work. Still faffing about. All right, that's in. So you're not going to see that, which is a waste. You're not going to see that. That's a waste. They're the doors. That's got... Fire extinguisher on it. Okay. Right. Let's let that dry a bit. That can dry a little out of the way. So let's move the wheels. Get all them out of the way. Make space. Put that one there. All right, let's have a look. So you want the other sprue again, backwards and forwards. Um, this part. We also want th 
30 and 29. That's 30. Let's cut a big piece off of that. And cut that down. So that's 30, which is that side. It's 29, which is that side, and we want fire extinguisher. <clears throat> which is here. Let me cut my fingers again. Did that this morning. Took a little chunk out of the top of my thumb with these. Being careless. I'm going to finish this up with a knife and make it a bit, a bit closer. What on earth is going on here? What on earth is that about? Oh, yeah. Don't make it easy, do they? Oh, I don't want to tear that and make a mess of the plastic. But... Bloody, oh, damn. Okay. That's a repair. Well, that was awful. AFE Club, I am surprised at you. That was uh, not very good.
that might go to two. Right, I need to sort this repair out. Whip some glue on there. Can't believe they've done that. That was awful. Bloody awful. Never seen such horrible gates to cut out. Can't believe that. That's it, I have fear you should be ashamed of yourself. Horrible. Also, this is my very first. Oh, not a camera to pieces. It's my first Asphodel D. I made a few of the Tamiya Alp C's, but this is my first Alp Alps D. Struggling to see some of this because I've got the camera right in front of my face. That's why I keep knocking it. That's why we see it wobbling around a bit. <clears throat> and I'm not quite sure how. How loud the microphone is either, because that's slightly up and out of the way. I may need to move that a bit further down. But I think this is definitely a better position to uh, film from. I liked the overhead, but unfortunately with the overhead, with the light, the light that's above it was uh, not very good when you trying to do a close up at least with this I'll say well at least with this you can sort of see the part Detract from the white objects in the back. Uh, what door was this? I think this was 30.
need a bit of let's use this one So this which uh, this needs to go around. Okay. All right, let's cut off. I've got to cut this piece off. And they go over that with a bit of sandpaper. That grooves drive down a bit. I'm trying to take my eyeballs out with that pinging shot. sure this is nice this piece because you're actually gonna be able to see that in the back of the half track going in the rougher that's better That's the inside. Take a look at the fire extinguisher. Oh. Well, it's got a couple of nasty seam lines. So we need to take that off.
Tiny bit of flash. Right, that goes on there. That actually fits without having to cut a piece out. Right, doors shut or doors open. Or one door open, one door shut. Doesn't fit. Or I'm doing something wrong. Right, let's go right in there. These are going to be glued closed. There's too much faffing about.
Leijas ka. Ai, hyvä näin. on the back. why some people don't like AFE kits. I'm starting to get dispassionate about it. Nice kit, shame about the hiccups. So we're currently at 10. Um, I'm still not going to put the top on just yet. Check out. All right, so we're coming into. Oh, itchy eye. Coming into actually building the infrared unit. Now we've got some photo etch going on here, so super glue the fingers together. <laughs> Should be fun. We've got the one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. For oh my god, look at those. Why would you do that? Oh, my word. You've got to glue on tiny little butterfly-type nuts. Oh, my word. You can, can't see it in that picture, but let's bring this into focus. Look at that. One, two, three, four on that piece. Four on that piece. Four on that piece. Now the last time I had to glue 
Well, have we got something else really tiny going on? Hang on. Going on down here as well. Last time I had to do any of that was on a panther kit. And it was a berg panther. It was the... What kit was it? It was the Revel kit, which was a rebox of the ICM kit. Lovely kit. I'm oh, clean all this rubbish off here. But yeah, I, I really don't get the very, very small parts. I really don't get that at all. It's nice having detail, but my eyes ain't as good as they used to be. They're 56 years old. I wear glasses now. I'll be wearing bloody binoculars by the time this is done. <laughs> Man, I'm not looking forward to those. So, right, I think what I'm going to have to do then, that's had a bit of time to dry. I'm going to take a look at putting this together. See how it goes. And then I see the door unit goes in here on the back. Oh, I see why that it's like that. It sits prouder there. Okay, that makes sense. It wasn't just me being dumb. All right. Now that makes sense. Righty -o. Off you come. It's such a shame we put all that detail in this kit. And if I paint it all, it's all going to get hidden anyway because that'll be on. There'll be a big old unit here. And an armour plate across the top. So we're not going to see it. Literally not going to see anything in there. Apart from this small space here. So do I paint it or not? Oh no, it's painted it. If I paint it. But am I going to put the hours in to paint it? And it'll be hidden. Oh, crikey. What to do, what to do. What? to do I'll have to mull that one over I think Okay, right, let's put this one side. Let's have a look at the the main part of the we have a correction for twelve, so I must remember to keep that. Oh, 
And I need to reference my photos actually for this because I think, oh my God, we've got to paint the inside of that first as well. Doesn't get any better, does it? Okay. I've got a Kay sprue. Are you sure? It's glass. Okay. Radio. So. Most of that is eye. That's glass and that's got to be painted silver. Doesn't tell you what number that is. Hmm. So I've got to put tiny little pieces on here. Which is going to be easily broken off. Got handles to go here and here. Wow, I'm not sure if this is um, I-39. Shit, sorry, I have to go on there as well. That's where the photo etch is going in. Let's have a look at So here we have all those. Looks like there's nothing on the sprue, doesn't it? The angle. There they are. Absolutely minute. These ones are wing nuts. Not quite sure what that piece of plastic is. That looks like a bolt head. 
threaded bolt. Unsure of that. Uh, these are all single butterflies. Bloody hell. The thing is, once you cut it, you're likely to cut. The actual piece of plastic you're trying to put on that is so so tiny and not much of a gate why why these are just going to go everywhere i'll have to put a bit of backing tape down I think they're going to be a total pain in the arse to get off. They really are. Let's see how thick those gates are. I'm going to struggle to get those off of there without destroying them. Wow. It's a nice detail kit. It's got wee wiring looms here. And on there. Loads and tiny little nuts and bolts. And all have all got bolts. Oh, we've got a couple of holes. This mold. See it? Look at that. Nasty. They have to be filled if they're visible. If they're not visible, which I'm hoping they're not. That's because of these. If it's not visible, then hopefully I won't have to fill that. Right. Bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. These are probably break. And these tiny little handles, they'll probably break if I'm not careful. I chose a kit and half here, didn't I? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this short, this string, because I'm going to have to seriously think about how to get all these off without destroying them. So, I think that's what, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Call it quits on this stream. Uh, do something to sort that out so I don't ruin the kit. So there we are. We're up to 11. I'll probably decide some point during the week whether I'm going to paint this interior. Um... Because it would be such a shame to have to paint all of that and then lose it all because you're not going to see it. Yeah. Get all my wheels painted up. Get the top on. Get that on. Check my photo references because one of these two parts that go here is actually missing out the photo reference and i think the lens is missing out the actual infrared unit itself so i need to get some my photo references is out right so we'll call it the, the quits on that one and 
All I can say is thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the support. If you like what I'm currently working on or any of the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell button so you know when the next video is coming out or the next live stream is going to happen. Uh, leave comments below. I will try to answer your questions as honestly as I can. And uh, once again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.